Uh, hi everyone uh, and let's get started. Uh, this is the fourth video of Uber Eats clone and in this video we are going to set setting up workspace. Workspace means our the place where we are going to add the modules, where we are going to add the services and this time I decided to use Lana for a monorepo. So we are going to create a monorepo and this is a simple Lana. I have already covered a webinar on Lana and I decided to use Lana for this project. Okay. So this is the first tool we are going to use. So uh, this is something like this. We will use Lana and then we will start adding the packages or you can see you can see the different applications. So how to how get how to get started with this. You can simply install Lana globally and then you can start adding the commands. So getting started, uh, we can just start with the first command Lana init independent. So you can just independent modules we are going to create open the terminal this folder is totally empty right now and we are just setting our first command this is going to create uh, just a few files uh, and it is going to create the our packages in the independent mode okay that's it we got the packages lana and package.json now our next thing is we are going to baseline two different applications today one is the next JS app and another is a Svelte kit app we are going to use for the the restaurant admins okay so let's create both so to add a new package you can simply uh, first we can actually update the Lana like all the dependencies dev dependencies we need or we can just simply use this command Lana create command Lana create command is used to create a package okay let's say this is Lana create and it creates the managed package by Lana Lana create and you can specify the location so we'll create a package Lana create uh, we can call it as a restaurant dashboard And the location is inside the packages we are creating so it will automatically create inside the the packages restaurant dashboard and so just specify basic things and the another app we are going to create is uh, simple is over it this is the next JS app we are going to create that will have an end user interface not for the restaurant admin so these two packages we have now it's our task to actually restructure this application and also we can create one is the utilities or you can call them as a drivers because there are some common utilities we are going to create drivers and we can also create utilities packages okay now we'll go one by one inside these packages and we'll set up these uh, installation like restaurant dashboard it has some code already out there we are not going to use that we are going to restructure this folder and we are going to populate our own setup here so what we are going to do is let's say how we can initialize next yes typescript template so we are just going to put that inside the uber eats clone app because we are going to use a uh, nest js sorry next js react next js framework for that okay this uh, folder is empty what i will do is i will run this command it is actually using this template let's see either it will complain that directory is already there or it will try to copy this code into our folder yes it is working so we got simple next JS for server side rendering simple boilerplate code uh, inside our uber eats okay and the restaurant dashboard there we are going to use a Svelte kit So Svelte also provides a way to bootstrap the application and then use it. So 
so we will see that command and we will Okay, so now we have all these applications set up. Now what we will do is we will we will add all the required dev dependencies to our uh, root project. So we'll go to the package.json. Here it contains uh, nothing, just a dev dependencies only Lana. So what we will do is we will add a couple of more dev dependencies, which is about uh, prettier with ESLint and uh, for commit lint and all these dependencies we need and we can introduce the config for the commit conventions and we can also introduce the husky husky is a tool that enforces us to follow the commit guidelines okay rest we can create a git ignore and all these files because it is not getting created by this uh, Lana, we have to create ESLint ignore and then prettier ignore. Uh, I mean, we can we could have used uh, existing setup. Prettier ignore file and then commit lint config .js. And if you if you are writing the test cases with the jest, we need jest config also. These are like uh, global configurations you have. You can overwrite these configurations inside your packages. So uh, jest config as we use in most of the projects. This is the minimal set minimal uh, jest configurations we need. So we have jest.config.js and commit lint config or commit ci commit lint ci prettier ignore we need to ignore the the node modules package lock build and all these things we don't want it to cover them inside a prettier and for prettier we don't have a long set of configuration we just wanted to put these two rules for prettier and then eslint rc because we also need to have a eslint configuration we need to create a eslint rc and i use these configurations for all the projects so i'm just using the the same global configuration it is using TypeScript recommended, ESLint recommended, and we are using ESLint recommended and recommended plugins. These are the, the recommended rules. I mean, we are extending these and the plugin is TypeScript ESLint. And these are a couple of rules I have added. Okay, ESLint ignore. The same, we need to exclude node modules and the build and package.json and all these files. We don't want it to process them through the ESLint okay so this is the basic setup we will do npm install now because we have added a couple of packages in the dev dependencies and we can also introduce the npm scripts because we are using larna and we are going to write a lot of uh, scripts so uh, let's create a script command here inside script we can add the command to bootstrap command to clean the Lana packages now we can play with all these commands like npm run bootstrap what it will do is it will install the nod modules i mean it will run npm install in all the packages similarly we have npm run clean it will remove the nod modules from all the packages it is using the Lana run commands and then we can also these are the other scripts i have added which is prettier prettier publish prepare and the lint 
these are the the global npm scripts we have added and all these packages will be of uh, type typescript so we will have the build script in all the packages so we can also do this npm run build so we can do npm run build it's actually using lana run build which is going to be executed in commands in two packages and obviously if the build script is not there then this command is not there in the swell kit app so we are going to create the common setup so let's say in future if i give this code to or if i upload this code on the github and somebody's try to use it then they can do the npm install on all the packages just by doing npm run bootstrap bootstrap ci if they can clean they can lint they can prepare and all these things because this is a common setup now this is our workspace setup we did a restaurant dashboard app which we are going to use with the swell kit and the uber eats clone which we are going to build with the next js both packages are using server side rendering technologies one is a next js react another is a swell kit which will use a swelt js okay so it's a good learning opportunity for us also using the both server side rendering platform and we are going to add another package for the services where we are going to write the apis and let's say how we are going to do the authentication authorization because now these front ends these server side rendered app will start fetching the data and showing us on the on the dashboards so stay tuned and let's connect in the next video